Welcome everyone. Uh, I hope that everyone is well. Thank you very much, guys, for joining us. And hopefully, guys, we are going to learn from each other. Uh, using this time, I look forward to that. Uh, and I hope everyone is okay. Welcome once again. Uh, may I ask if uh, anyone, anyone can hear me? Can all hear me? Please? Welcome, Janet. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, I'm much appreciated. Uh, my name is Sylvester. Uh, I'm going to be the presenter for uh, the day. Uh, uh, I hope to learn from you guys and then hopefully to work with you. Uh, I'm just going to talk about the basic finance uh, stuff. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, thank you very much, Janet. And then, yeah, so we'll take it from there. Uh, you are at liberty to ask any questions, yes? Yes, you can take an answer, I will answer. So once you take an answer, I will just say yes. Yes. Thank you so much, I appreciate your welcome, Isaac. Uh, and then, yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, let's just get into it, guys, uh, so that we get started. Uh, so, yeah, let's just get into it, guys, so that we can use our time perfectly. So, like I said, guys, I'm just going to touch on the basic finance. And not two two finance are going to be just about around the business, uh, about the experience with you know, things that you maybe uh, if you're engaged in business. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Like I said, my name is Sylvester, so guys, my email address. So, for any other correspondence, maybe after this, uh, you can still. Uh, 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 communicate with each other at uh, the uh, And then again, yes, welcome. Uh, I just want to start uh, just to you know, in business sometimes, you know, that it's all about investing more. So, so. so your business to be successful. So at the end of the day, you need to know your business. Right? Okay. So it means at the end of the day, you need to know the basic account. You know the basic thing. So yes, you can have your own account, uh, you can have your own your book, but at the end of the day, you must know how to start those financial statements, which will be presented to you by your accounting officers, by your bookkeepers, by your account. So it's important for you guys to familiarize yourself with So most people will always say, I don't know mechanistic business, I'm not going to put in finance. I don't know why they like it. I'm telling you, you can start any other course at the moment, even though you don't have the same uh, uh, So at the end of the day, guys, you know uh, you are good at business only if you know, like I said, yeah. So if you just keep your mind and make sure that you speak out, make sure that you know you're concerned about it. I'm telling you, just try to force yourself to do that. You know? For every business, irrespective of that nature of the business, you need pay the time. We have some time to associate ourselves with you know, a particular environment. They normally say people who are good to people are good to people who are good to people. They say people uh, like they like people. So they, they, they get along with many people. And they normally associate people who are good in men, they say they can be scientists and they can be business. I know many people who are accountants, but they've never been exposed to finance when they did their metric or maybe they did like the secondary level. So, but because they put mind on it, so they are able to deal with the finance economy. You are good in numbers. Really? So you just have to know the basis of dealing with numbers. Okay, you don't need to be good with numbers to be good at finance. Remember, this mathematics and finance are the same time. You don't have to be a master in mathematics to be good at finance. With finance, it's like ongoing process. You learn sometimes you take this what learning learning process. Sometimes you ask friends. You know, when they uh, you ask those questions at the end of the day, you end up learning the basic finance. Again, you know, you need to hear people like me now at the end of the day to you know, about the particular finance and question.
Hello, everyone. I don't know what happened. Uh, I think I'm now you can hear me. I don't know. I was talking to myself. So can everyone hear me? Apology about that. Uh, let me know if you can hear me. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I don't know what happened, honestly speaking. I don't know. So, so I'm at home. I think I can't ask IT, so obviously. Uh, apology for that, guys. Can everyone hear me? Thank you, Rene. I'm, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I hope all other people can hear me, guys. Apology about that. Thank you so much. Sorry, guys. I don't know. So let me just continue. Let me go back to my slides. Uh, things like this happen. I don't know. It's not even low shading, so I don't know. Yes. So I was just talking about guys being good at finance. And I was saying uh, we normally associate ourselves with a particular you know, group of people. And we say, no, we cannot be able to do that. Uh, but at the end of the day, guys, you need to attempt to force yourself a, a bit and then make sure that you, you develop a, 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 like a, a, you must have your own preferences at the end of the day. Okay. So don't just say that, that's not who I am, because especially with people who say they cannot do finance. I think they're just saying that's not who I am. That is not my preference. Maybe your preferences are lying somewhere else. Can you see now? Maybe that is not your priority at the end of the day. You are not even prepared to sacrifice for that particular thing. So you don't have time for it. But please just make sure that you put your mind on it. So at the end of the day, you will end up understanding finance. Okay. Uh, what does a possible investor need to see? Uh, maybe some of you, you know, that, uh, you know, the business plan is very much important at the end of the day. As you know, a business plan is all about the summary of your intentions when it comes to business. So a business plan has got different sections. And one of those sections, which I consider very, very much important, is the finance section. So at the end of the day, is where you try to project your costs and project your incomes. Because when the investor is looking at the opportunities to invest, they normally look at those things. And again, your business plan must be very, very brief at the end of the day. Make sure that you put things which are important. Make sure that they are uh, the, uh, the business plan is understandable by the user at the end of the day. So again, as you can see here, I wrote, make it easy to understand. Remember, you need to make sure that you, you, you put the main point because the investor need to know more about your business. You are the one who are in this business. So make some people understand what you are trying to sell, what you are trying to achieve at the end of the day. Remember, again, when you're doing a business plan, no one is perfect. Sometimes we use experts. Sometimes we can uh, compile our own business plans. But remember, you always have people around you who can help you to review your own business plan so that at the end of the day, when it goes to uh, the investors, it, you, at least the investors can also understand what is going on because it's better for you to involve various people so that at the end of the day, you can try to make it easier to understand. Okay. Uh, again, the management team is very much important. And then we know that as a, a, a new business at the end of the day, you don't have experience. But sometimes you must try to associate yourself with people with experience. You know that people, there are people there who are willing to, to, to share information. Remember, it's all about the research at the end of the day. For you to decide to start a business, I think you researched a bit about it. And again, during the, the, the research process, you end up, you know, meeting people who can be able to mentor you and maybe people who are willing to share with you. You see now, not all people uh, conceal the information about the establishment of businesses. So again, please make sure that you try to network with many people. And again, they look at the strength and your skills. You know that we are not the same. So, but what makes you a, a special uh, uh, amongst the group? So in other words, what can make your business very, very special at the end of the day? You as an individual, remember when you sell your business, it's all about your skills at the end of the day. What are you good at? That's why sometimes you need to employ people who can be able to focus on particular segments of the business. So utilize your skills efficiently at the end of the day. Make sure that even the business plan discloses your weaknesses. We know when we compile those business plans, we always talk about the positives but you don't talk about the weaknesses at the end of the day. The investor wants to see a bigger picture because remember, by investing in your business, 
they're investing their resources. They want something in return. So for them to be interested at the end of the day, they will need to see your business plan. They need to see what is your management team? What is the experience? Maybe at the end of the day, they can even help you to get experienced people to mentor that uh, you so that you can be successful at the end of the day. So please make sure that in that business plan, you disclose everything that is necessary for your business to succeed. Okay. So I hope uh, uh, so far you are following guys so far, so far. Um, again, uh, what does a personal investor need to see? That's the continuation. Financials, guys, are very much important. I know uh, I do, uh, my life is finance. So whatever I'm doing is all about finance. My work is finance. Finance is very much important. Remember in any environment, whether you are uh, like, as long as you are in business, whether you are a non-profit organization or a profit organization, at the end of the day, finance is very much important. For you to get a subsidy, let's say you are running a non-profit organization, they cannot just give you funds based on like whatever you are telling them. You need to have books, you need to have the projected uh, figures so that they can be able to know how can they subsidize you, okay? So at the end of the day, you need to make sure that your books are on point. I know it sometimes can be very costly for you to have your full-time bookkeeper, but there are other bookkeepers out there who are very, very reasonable. And at the same time, like I said, you can even enroll for a small course at the end of the day and you learn more about the basic finance. Again, remember, you need sometimes some businesses you need to make sure that you, you know, you, you submit your, your financial statements. Can you see? So when you submit your financial statements to relevant bodies, at the end of the day, they must be according to a particular structure. So your books need to be uh, according to their expectations. And again, SARS, if your business has to pay, let's say you qualify to register for VET, because some people don't know that there's a, a certain point where you are compelled by law to register for, for VET. So you need to have more information about the finances. Just know that when you reach this uh, particular level of revenue, you are automatically obliged to write, register for, for VET. Okay. So again, you can seek information. Just make sure that you read a lot, you know, SARS website, you can also get more information about that. Ask people who have been exposed to finance so that they can help you a lot. And again, when people invest in your business, you need to show them how much interest, how much share are they going to have in the business. Can you see? You need to have those basic calculations. Sometimes we use ratios where we denote those things in the form of percentage. For example, I can say you're going to get 60% from my business depending on the contribution that you made to the business. So just for the, uh, for the fact that you need to have investors, it doesn't mean that you must just try to attract them by giving them more shares. No, at the end of the day, you need to know that you are the one who established the business. So at the end of the day, you need to decide how much percentage do you want to share with other people at the end of the day, okay? Again, the investors want to know whether you are willing to keep the business for some time. Sometimes we start the businesses and our intention maybe is to sell them after 10 years. So again, to, uh, for the investors to decide whether they want to invest in your business or not, they normally look at these things where they check whether you are trying to keep this business for some time or you are willing to sell it in the future. So those things, uh, investors are always looking for them. They need to know so that they can see whether their investment in that particular business is going to be viable or not. Okay. So at the end of the day, financials are very much important. Uh, I hope so far uh, everyone is following us. Remember, you are at liberty to ask questions. Uh, remember, as a small business, sometimes you know, sometimes we start small. Uh, sometimes you know that we negotiate with our suppliers for credits. You know, sometimes they are very hesitant to grant us credit. Obviously, based on your you know history, they can see that this person doesn't have you know that uh, he has been in business for two months. For them to grant you credit is very risky for them. So again, you need to have a way of building that relationship with them, okay? Sometimes avoid asking too much credit. Just ask for maybe, you know, let's just say, let's say instead of asking for 50,000, maybe just ask for 5,000 so that you can be able to build, you know, your credit history at the end of the day. Sometimes, you know, most business, most investors, 
look and most suppliers look at your credit history before you can be granted credit. So the more you finance the credit that has been granted uh, uh, to you, in future, those suppliers can see the future with you. So they can be in a position whereby they can be able to grant you more credit and by granting you more credit, it means you're going to have enough cash or enough surplus to invest in other avenues. So make sure that you have got a way of what? Of having that relationship with the suppliers. So if they say no, please just come back again with another proposal so that at the end of the day, they can see that you mean business at the end of the day. Please try to build your own good track record as early as possible. Negotiate with those suppliers. Again, I think some of you maybe have been in business already. I think you know how does this business work. So it's all about networking. It's all about creating relationships with many suppliers. Have alternative suppliers. Don't uh, rely on one supplier because you will never know if the other supplier will be able to grant you credit. A credit can either be in the form of cash or non-cash. You know, sometimes you go to the suppliers and ask for the inventory so that we can pay them using the terms of payment. Again, those things is all about the relationship between you and the suppliers. Okay. Uh, I just came up with this, you know, few examples. There are too many examples why most businesses are unsuccessful at the end of the day is because of the mistakes that we make. Okay. Sometimes, you know, a lack of delegations, you know, that uh, as the business grows, you need more people to work with, okay? You can't do everything by yourself. Try to delegate responsibilities. Try to make sure that you organize your business according to, you know, various departments so that everyone knows what to do. So try not to do everything alone. Uh, again, nowadays, we are lucky enough, we have different uh, platforms whereby we can advertise our products, we can even use our uh, social media, we can even use the door-to-door. -door. You no, know, they've got various ways of marketing. So at the end of the day, guys, uh, you can be able to use those platforms, okay? Don't think that you are the marketing genius. There are people who are good in marketing. So if you can have resources, if you have put uh, resources to invest in those uh, marketing campaigns and hire the experts, please just hire them. But remember, it's all about studying small, so you can even make sure that you know you use your friends and then please man, market this product for me. And then obviously, when I grow, we grow. So we you'll never know what can happen. So just try to make sure that you use people who have, are very good in marketing to help you. Uh, you need to make sure that your customers come first. I always call my customers my investors. They are investors, okay? So I invested in them in a way because without customers, there's no success at the end of the day. Again, please take care of your customers. Try to grant them discount where necessary. Try to make sure that they feel at home. I'm telling you, customers can also be used as a marketing tool to market your product. So if your customers are happy, I'm telling you, you're going to get more customers in the future. Okay, and again, when we start businesses, again, because sometimes we've got capital, we just get into the wrong businesses. You know, there are people who always invest in those bogus businesses. You know, you need to research more about the businesses. Be passionate about that particular environment before you can invest in those businesses. Okay, don't wait until you've got a perfect plan. Like a business is an ongoing process, guys. So we start small. Please make sure that as soon as possible, you start uh, with business activities. Okay. So again, jumping into wrong partnerships. Yeah, sometimes, you know, we want to expand and then you want to join the partnerships. And then, you know, when people say you can invest in us and then you just go and invest. But please make sure that you are very, very careful before you can make a decision about joining a particular partnership. Please assess the situation, assess the business with discernment so that you cannot make wrong decisions. And the team that you put together must be the team that is uh, going to get that particular goal that you set. You know the skills you need, you know people you need, make sure that you've got a strong team that can be able to make your business a success. Uh, forcing versus influencing, uh, like it's all about the leadership here. I think you need not, you must not force people to work or to work with you. You need to influence them. You must lead by example. So whatever they are doing, make sure that you show them the importance of doing it. Remember, if the business is successful, they will end up being successful. So you need to remind them and say, guys, this is how we do things. Sometimes get your hands dirty just to show them that you are actively involved in this business. So again, please try to influence instead of what? 
forcing. Again, this is like something that is happening, I remember, in South Africa. So we normally leave the dream to end. You know, that when we start making those few thousand, we start trying to have that life, you know. It's all about the levels, it's what they say. So you're leveling up now. Please try to make sure that you invest in business. Remember from the beginning stage, the business, you need to put more in business, invest more in business, improve the strategies. Can you see? So you know that if you invest now, in future, you are going to have those inflow of economic benefits inflow of cash so at the moment make sure that you make your business special any questions ladies and gentlemen is everyone okay so far i know we've got only 20 minutes but uh, obviously i'm gonna ask extra because of the the problem that we have so but yeah so if you've got any questions let me see on the chat if everyone is following guys Okay, a no problem. Uh, what are the investors and bankers looking for again? Like we've said before, uh, your business performance. Thank you so much, Rene. Uh, I appreciate. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, business performance over time and against other businesses. Uh, guys, uh, you will see, like, as the time progresses when you are in business, when you expand, or those who are already in some businesses, it is important for you to compare the performance of your business over time. You need to know how to compare the performance of your business with that performance of the industry as a whole. Because we have got some competitors. Some information can be accessed uh, of other companies. So you need to know how to compete. Normally in business, uh, we normally have financial statements. And those financial statements, we can have what you call the ratios, where we compare the performance of year one and year two. Let's say, for example, the previous month, uh, I perform my profit was 60%. And this month, my profit is 50%. Can you see that is a signal? It will show me whether I have improved or not. If I did not improve, I will have to go and check on the financial statement. What made me to decline from, uh, from 60% to 50%? So it is important for you to compare. It's like in auditing. Normally, if you want to check if the business is performing or not, we normally use what you call the analytical procedures. So those procedures is like, we just check the performance from period one to period two. Can you see now? For uh, uh, the performance against what other businesses. So at the end of the day, that can help you to make sure that you focus on specific areas where attention is needed. Because for example, let's say you realize that your expenses have increased a lot. You must just check what made me to have that expense to be high. So can you see at the end of the day, we have got that area that we're going to focus on. Even though sometimes some expenses are unavoidable. You cannot avoid them. You need them so that you can run the business. But you can find that there are some expenses which you can cut. So when you cut those expenses, the less the expenses, the higher the profit. So again, guys, make sure that you know how to compare the performance of the business over time. The business must be the right fit, obviously. It's all about the environment where you you. you you run your business again i think you need to assess uh, the situation before you can continue okay okay i think i've got a question here i'm just trying to check a question uh they say as uh, okay i think this are okay i'm just reading the question how can one go about getting a mentor to advise in business or are business incubators the best yes i can also um uh, recommend the business incubators but you know that most people are very, very busy, but not everyone is meaning to, uh, willing to mentor you. But it's good to try sometimes. Again, yes, the incubators can be the best to help you. Okay. Are there uh, avenues to get assistance or advice on business studying or a business plan, something like that? Yes, I know about NetBank. I think NetBank has got, uh, I think they can also help you how to compile your own business plan. I think maybe you can get more information thereafter. Maybe when you go to NetBank website, they do have those avenues where you can be able to get the basic information about running the businesses. Especially as a beginner, you need the advice, you need how to compile business plan. And again, please check with NetBank. NetBank can help you with that. Okay. If I were to invest in a business and it fails to perform, are there any avenues to claim and get back investment part? 
Can you see? Uh, it's very difficult because sometimes when the business is unsuccessful, sometimes we end up losing all the investment that we got. So it's not easy for you to get back your investment unless if you invested in that business, one of the conditions was the fact that when the business is unsuccessful, you will end up getting back uh, the investment. But because businesses are, you know, are exposed to risk, sometimes when we invest, we don't have those conditions whereby we say we can get, you can back, get back your investment. That's unfortunate, can you see now? But unless you've got a special clause or a special condition whereby you and the other party state that you will get your investment back. Remember, when you invest, it's a risk. Even though it's not a risk like betting lotto, can you see now? But it's, it's a calculated risk at the end of the day. Again, it depends. So that's why from a beginning stage, make sure that you minimize your risk to the unacceptable level. Can you see now? Unfortunately, you cannot eliminate the risk uh, like uh, completely, but you can just try to minimize it by associating yourself with people who have got experience. Can you see? That minimizes the risk. By making sure that you seek information, going to a bank like NetBank and making sure that you get that information, they are willing to support you at the end of the day. That can help to minimize the risk. Can you see? Everything must start from the beginning stage so that we can reduce that risk to an acceptable level. Okay, I hope that I answered your questions, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, thank you so much, uh, Mativo. Uh, again, you know, the location, the industry, the stage of development, sometimes, you know, that when you, you need to check the location, I think it's all about marketing your business uh, at the end of the day. You cannot just start a business and sell your product in a location where you cannot uh, find your audience. You know your audience, you know your customer. So research is very much important. The industry that you want to be in. I think you are attracted by what is happening in the industry before you can join the industry. Like the property industry. So if you want to join the property industry, it means you are interested and you've got passion about that and you see uh, the, 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 the development opportunities there. The market size, uh, you know that again, investors obviously they look at the market size. Others maybe they can be looking at the big market. The others are looking in a small market. So it's all about the preference of those investors and bank. The proof that you uh, can be able to sustain that environment. Can you see now? The social proof is very much important. And again, your financial projection must not be just a dream. You can have a business plan which is very, very appealing at the end of the day. But the question is, are those figures practical? Are you in, can you be able to uh, do whatever you are saying you're going to do according to that particular business plan. So make sure that your figures, yes, even though they are appealing, it means you can put them into action. Remember, investors don't just invent, invest. The bankers don't just give you loans. They want to see that they, you are going somewhere. Okay? So please make sure that you have a very good business plan. And again, your ideas, your business must be credible enough because at the end of the day, it's all about credibility. Investors are attracted by those qualities which you portray, by those uh, things that you say your business is going to do. That's why sometimes they don't, e they don't even rely only on the business plan. They don't need only a paper. You must also go and present it. Tell them that you are going to run your business according to what you have stated in your business plan. Okay. Any questions, guys? Uh, I think yeah, we can end here. I know that we we need a lot this like you know finance we need a lot but if you put any questions guys you may ask but uh, i think yeah i think we, we tried our best uh, apology about you know i was cut off uh, i don't know what happened but yeah i hope everyone is uh, okay and uh, i appreciate it. thank you so much guys i hope all is well so far thank you thank you thank you <laughs>